what's going on guys hope everyone out there is having a awesome day on this video i wanted to share with you what are the biggest mistakes people are making when they first start their youtube automation channel and this is some of the issues that i actually come um, across on a daily basis people actually reaching out to me on facebook on instagram and they are pretty much making this common mistake right so if you're watching this video if you're thinking about starting a youtube automation channel make sure you don't make this mistake because it's gonna cost you a lot of time and also frustration okay so let's talk about this number one mistake people are actually making is simply they don't have the funds to hire team they start a youtube automation channel simply because they think it's a awesome business model and they're gonna be starting to make money from day one right which isn't right because if you're running a youtube automation channel you need to hire talents from a uh, website as um, upwork fiverr and all these different web uh, websites that people actually hire talents from right and you're gonna be paying them money on a daily basis so we're looking at at least about 500 to a thousand dollars or 1500 two thousand dollars depends on whatever niche you're actually getting into right and uh, if you're dead broke don't start youtube automation channel because even if you start you don't know how long it's going to take for you to get your channels monetized and you're going to be paying your team like for probably three four six seven eight months and you're not going to get any results right so and you're going to be very very frustrated right okay and i didn't even mention about you buying a course or program because if you do that you probably need at least like three or six or seven thousand uh, dollars to actually buy the course and then after that you need to start paying the team on a daily basis for them to create content right so don't make the mistake thinking that you're going to get quick results with youtube automation channels because it's it actually won't happen right and you're going to get really really frustrated number two is people are actually getting into the wrong niche right what used to work five six years back um, people actually used to start motivation channels and start to get traction was because uh, there wasn't much motivation channels back in the days right and if you're starting motivation channel top five top ten celebrity channels and you think you're gonna get quick results you are gonna get really really frustrated right and <laughs> your channel won't even get views because bigger channels are already getting views and you're not gonna get much views so you're gonna be wasting a lot of money if you do that right so that's the second mistake choosing the wrong niche number third mistake people actually making is they're hiring the wrong talent for their youtube automation channels right so they if they want to have a sporting channel they're hiring a uh, voice of artists from philippines who has a thick accent right and your audience won't actually relate uh, to what is actually speaking and uh, mainly what people do is uh, they go to all these um, cheap websites um, for example online job.ph and hire talents from there right which is good um, that's a good uh, place that uh, you can actually go to and hire from but keep in mind if you're hiring voice over talents from there uh, make sure your niche is actually right for that voice over okay uh, so the, these are the common three mistakes that people are actually making um, another huge one is uh, not be able to monetize the channel uh, on a very very quick basis okay what I actually mean by that is because I remember when I used to do YouTube automation channels uh, we always had uh, three or four channels in the back uh, so when we find any niche we just used to start um, that niche on a brand new monetized channel okay and if you are just starting out uh, people are just doing everything organically which is good but it's gonna take a lot of time right so um, find ways how you can actually monetize your channel very fast so that way you don't be losing money paying your teams paying your talents um, so that way money keeps coming to you and then you can actually distribute between your talents and also keep the profit okay so those are the uh, mistakes people are actually making when they're jumping into um, YouTube automation uh, business model it is a tough business model